Hey, welcome to Regular Stuff YouTube channel. We're doing smash burgers on a Blackstone. I know smash burgers have been done and done and done and done. There's probably a million videos out there with smash burgers, but just thought I'd show you how I do mine. I've already got my grill all warmed up. Uh, when I warm mine up, I turn on all four burners, get it good and hot. Then I shut, if I'm only going to use a couple burners like I'm going to do now, I'm just using these two. I shut the other ones off, but if you heat it up just one side, you you might warp your plate. So it's good to heat it all up evenly, and then if you don't want the heat, then you can turn your burners off. But right now, I just got these two burners on. Uh, we're at, oh yeah, we're at good searing temperature, about 550, 575. Now what I've got is uh, four balls of ground beef. Uh, this is fresh beef that I raised myself. Uh, they're about a quarter pound each. I'll uh, just kind of loosely roll up into the ball. I'm gonna put some butter down on my Blackstone griddle. Uh, I prefer butter over oil, just a personal preference. You can use olive oil or avocado oil, whatever oil you want. But I like butter with my burgers. I just got a stick of butter I keep in the freezer right here on the front porch. Butter it down real good. Face them out kind of evenly so you have room to smash them. And I just take a piece of aluminum foil, kind of fold it over, fold the edges so it don't come apart. Put it on there. And then I'll take my spatula. Smash them out real nice and thin. Now you probably do a better job of keeping them round. I don't like to season mine until I flip them over. Because when they're cooking like this, you'll get a little bit of moisture on top. You'll actually want to soak that up with a paper towel or something. Because uh, if you have that water on top and you go to flip it, the other side won't get as crispy. See it's cooking up in between in the middle. I'm not really sure about a time uh, to cook them. I don't ever pay attention to time. I just cook until I feel like flipping them over. You can kind of see the moisture on top. I'll soak that up with a rag, a uh, paper towel. Then I'll flip them, season the side that's already cooked, and go from there. Now if you were doing buns, I would have these burners on a lower heat and have your buns toasting on this side. Uh, the wife and I are currently on a keto diet, so we don't, uh, we don't do the bread thing right now. Get as dry as possible. And then we flip them. I do salt, pepper. Onion powder and garlic powder. I like to use coarse ground pepper, it's personal preference. And a little bit of garlic powder. Same seasoning as I use in the steaks, it's pretty good all around. 
combination. This side is not quite done yet, but I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. Another round of seasoning. Flip them back. We like the sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put half a slice on my wife. She didn't like a lot of cheese. Slice each on mine. Bunch them together. And I'll cover them up. And then it'll get that cheese nice and melted while they're finishing cooking. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut the heat off. Slap them on a plate. There you go, smash burgers on the Blackstone. Hope you enjoyed this, not much to it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll catch you later.